Hello everyone and welcome back to our Stalker Gamma Ecologist One, where we're playing Dr. Krominov, a uh, ecologist whose main thing is collecting artifacts and hunting mutants and not killing or looting stuff off dead people. Well, unless they get in our way, that is. But no assassination missions. So, last time, we started out in Dead City. We did a pass through um, Agroprom, where we finished Threlock's hideout in the Agroprom underground. Unfortunately, we didn't have enough Psy resistance to do the Nerve Racker anomaly and get Kovalev's laptop, but we did get the other two artifacts. And then we headed to the Great Swamps, where we did a few more of the missions over there, and we picked up a huge team of Clear Sky that wants to be led... Uh, where does... Oh, they want to go back to Yantar. Um, so we're gonna do that, but uh, on the way, we are going to finish a couple more missions in Rostock, maybe get the stashes that are peppered around the place. Oh, wait, Cordon, not Rostock. Sorry about that. And um, then we will head into Rostock. That's what I wanted to say, where we will continue the Living Legend mission, uh, which will send us to army warehouses. But I think that will be it for now, because I'm kind of afraid to deal with Monolith with our current gear. Uh, also, there's no point in doing the Brain Scorcher before we do the Miracle Machine. So, this episode, hopefully we will get all the way to the Miracle Machine and do some quests on the way. And if we have time, I will do the Miracle Machine as well, although that might be its own episode, because going through there does take a little bit of time, so uh, we'll see what happens, I guess. But for now, we are in Cordon. I will leave the Clear Sky guys here and go finish the mission for the military. I'm afraid the military will shoot the Clear Sky guys, so yeah, as for gear... We still ha have our Seva bodysuit, we have our AK-47 with a little bit of ammo, not much unfortunately, and of course our MP5, which I hope to replace with a shotgun at some point. Right, I also need to fix up this knife because it is pretty damaged. Now, as always, I will do a quick dashboard check, see what missions we have. Small package to garbage. Um, you know what? We will pass through garbage, so might as well take that. And deliver a package in Agroprom. Uh, I don't want to go back to Agroprom right now. Alright. Um, get a PDA. I don't want to come back to Cordon either. So I'm not going to bother with that. Um... Yeah, you know what, I'll just skip the rest of the stuff. And... Oh, someone wants vodka, and I have vodka, so... I will take that mission. Anything to increase our rep right now. Some more dog meat for the military. And that is it. Okay, so we have two missions for the military, which is pretty cool. Let's leave our guys waiting here and start doing the missions. I will need to eat something. Привет, брат. And then this guy is the one we need to turn the mission into. Right. have a little bit of water as well. I do hear dogs in the distance. Um, hopefully I won't aggro them because I don't really want to fight with them right now. Keep our AK on FMJ. 
and HP for the MP5. It's nice being ready to fight pretty much anything. And we also have our pistol with Hydroshock. Now it's been a little while since I've recorded. I um, kind of had some real life stuff going on. So um, I had to go through my backlog of uh, episodes. And I actually haven't played Stalker in uh, more than a few weeks. So if I... Uh, if it looks like I'm out of practice, that's what happened. But we're back and I'll try to resume the regular upload schedule. Because, no. uh, yeah, yes, there, there was a little bit of a content drought for, from me this this uh, these past few weeks. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, when real life gets in the way, there's uh, nothing we can do. So, we're just going to run back. What else do we have here? Oh, we actually got a golden stash, which is pretty cool. Although it is in Cordon, so mm, I, I, I'm not expecting to get a lot of stuff from it. But again, we are relying on stashes to get uh, gear, unfortunately. Oh, or. Okay, got a little bit of stuff. Okay, this place is usually pretty heavily radiated. Guys, wait outside because I don't want to get stuck behind you. Okay, finally basic tools which I can turn into our mechanic friend. And uh, I could take one of these for a main weapon, but... Uh, mm. I'm trying to listen. I thought I heard lurkers in the distance. I I think we're alright. Okay, so we have to take out some bandits here. And uh, as always, we'll take the back entrance. Well, as always, I haven't been here in a while, but there's one. I don't want to engage with them at this distance. Oh, they actually saw us. All right. Well, I'm going to let the clear sky guys deal with them if possible. Because I don't really want to waste ammo on this. Just pretend we're not here while the clear sky guys deal with everything. Very nice. Easy clear. <laughs> right. Um, I'll just take everything. And there's a weapon here. Unfortunately, we can't take it. Those are the rules. But that doesn't mean we can't take parts from it. Right. And there is a stash. That stash, from what I remember, is gonna be uh, up here. Uh, broken radio. 
we can disassemble that. We're starting to run out of space a little bit. I think we can climb on this, right? Yeah, with a little bit of crouch. And here's the stash. Nothing important, unfortunately. Okay. Where to next? Um, what? Oh, spring cleaning is actually dealing with all the bandits. Right, well... Uh, I thought it's just going to be these ones, but it seems we have a little bit of work to do. Okay, um, the elevator, or mill, however you want to call it, usually has... Can be freedom, or bandits, or both, so it's good to keep an eye out. But it seems we're clear. Anyone up there? Nope. And there is a stash up there as well. Oh, that's beautiful. The sunsets in this game are just amazing. Okay, there may be some bandits running around here. So, uh, a quick check. I can hear some cats in the distance. No one here. There is a camp there where there may be bandits, but uh, I'll... I'll rely on the clear sky boys to take care of them if there are any. And here's our stash. Come on. There we go. Ah, not a big amount of stuff. Alright, what else? There's another, another stash over there. We can actually set a waypoint for it. There's a flesh over there. I think it's down. Oh, anomaly here. Go around that. And the stash should be here in a stump. Right, it's some repair stuff, which is not bad. Go and loot the flesh. Okay, and we can keep on going to deal with the bandits over there. And now that I think about it, uh, this mission is actually completely against the rules, and I'm really sorry for taking it. Honestly, I thought it would be uh, mutants, or I took it by mistake, I don't even remember. Uh, but yeah, I, I, uh, I forgot about that rule for a moment. I'm, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> okay, so the cool thing is only one clear sky guy has to Oh. My AK actually jammed. Why did you jam? Oh, we do have one part that's a little bit damaged. That guy was uh, asleep. Just let our guys deal with that. 
Nice. This has an upgrade? Hmm. Uh... Nope. Didn't work out. I was hoping uh, Disassemble would uh, get me that upgrade. Okay, where's the last bandit? Was it? Just this guy? Hmm, yes it was. Right, um... As soon as the Clear Sky Boys let me pass, I'll head back to, uh... Rookie Village and turn in that mission. This stash, I can't really get to it because of the foliage I've cried before. So, that's that. See you all in Rookie Village. Alright, so I kinda skipped ahead. It was just a quick run to Rookie Village to turn in the mission. We got a stash in the meadows. I don't want to go to meadows. So, we came back to garbage. And uh, I can hear some dogs in the distance. And since we have a whole squad yeah, of clear sky with us, I'm just gonna pull those dogs. Right, let's see. What do we have to do here? There is a stash, and there's probably artifacts there as well. So that's the first order of business in the garbage. Now, I would like to get to Rostock before it darkens, and... Uh, Maybe um, take a nap there. I don't remember how fast I have to deliver the stuff to the clear sky boys. So, um, we'll see. Right, there is an artifact here. I'm gonna put on our uh, good armor, or our ruby. And uh, where did it go? Hey! Yeah, we, we have a ruby scoot. Fire, no problem. <laughs> More scared of that electric anomaly over there. Right, there's another stash here. Where is it? It's probably in the car. There it is. And there's another artifact there. That's interesting. Oh, oh a sourpuss. Oh, also this is a battery, so it will ir irradiate us a little bit. Right, and there are other anomalies here, and there could be an artifact. No? Okay, no artifacts here. We're, we're good. Just gonna walk our way out. I'll take that. Right, next up. What's next on the list? Um, I mean... Do I go... Do I go through Agroprom straight to Yantar? So I can... Take these guys uh, home. Hmm. You know what? Let's let's do that. Let's do that, and we can go to Rostock right after. Actually, uh, no. I'm gonna go to Rostock just because. Uh, turning the Living Legend quest will probably give me a little bit of money. Oh, I got him. Not sure if the loot is worth the bullets, though. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I, I, um... Was a nice clean burst. Uh, yeah, so 
hopefully the, the living Just legend the quest will give us enough um, enough money to Me actually legend. buy a Psy Helm. So that way we can do the Miracle Machine. A mercenary got killed by a duty here, so there's probably some loot to be had over by the Rostock checkpoint. Oh! Got a little, uh... Flesh hide? Oh, we also forgot to drop our armor. Flip of the finger. What does the flesh hide do? 71%. Uh, burn and rupture resistance. This would actually be a good thing um, in the uh, in the miracle machine. Simply because uh, rupture resist could help a lot in there. Okay, let's see what the duty boys did. Uh, get our little share of the loot from the dead marks, and then we will uh, head over to Rostock. Okay, oh, a dead duty here. That's... Oh, this is actually really big. Oh, actually, never mind, we can't loot it. Um, this would have been really big, because it actually has pretty good Psy resistance. Well, when it's maxed, it gets all the way to 12%, which is uh, pretty nice. Unfortunately, yeah, I, I uh, just remembered we can't loot it off a dead body. But the mercs did a number on the duty patrol here. Well, on the duty checkpoint. But I don't see any of them here. It's funny because they, they sometimes uh, spawn in the same place and they end up fighting each other. Is that a body? No. I have no idea where the mercenaries died. Ah well. Never mind that, let's go to Rostock. Okay, so we made our way to Rostock. I also grabbed a few missions off the task board, mostly turn in missions and a couple of uh, mutant hunts. And we will now turn in the mission for the living legend. Right, so we know Strelok made his way here. So, hey barkeep, I need information. I have a reason to believe Strelok stopped by here. Is he still around? What? Here in the bar? No, you narrowly missed him. He passed by yesterday. I told him that a lot of people look, were looking for him, but he was adamant that he couldn't stay to chat. He was with four odd other stalkers headed north. I reminded him that the Brain Scorcher is active again, but he didn't seem to mind. Bought up half the food in my kitchen and off they went. I'd call him a fool if he hadn't already survived all those years in the most dangerous parts of the zone. So, we... As players, we know who those other four people are. It's basically uh, Rogue and the gang, Stitch and so on. You say he wasn't alone? He had a few companions with him. Though experienced stalkers from the looks of it, not a bunch of greenhorns for sure. Part of the reasons I, reason I didn't really try to stop them, they all seemed to know what they were doing. So Strelok was last seen going past the barrier? I'm on a mission to find him and it seems it just got that much harder. <laughs> That's what you get when you try to pursue a legend. I bet he set his sights on the Chernobyl NPP again. Getting there will be quite an ordeal, especially with the Brain Scorcher in the way. I wouldn't go there without some sort of advanced Psy protection. When you get that covered, talk with Gatekeeper. He's a walking slab of single-minded grit who helps defend the barrier. He might help you out later on. It's very important, so I'll do my best. 
Thanks for the info, barkeep. No problem, man. Good luck. Right. Now, we also got a couple of PDAs, so let's check them out before we turn them over to barkeep. And it's nothing important. Right. Information to sell. There we go. Other than that, we have a couple more uh, missions around here to turn in. Actually, a lot more. And uh, there's also a stash I didn't pick up. Uh, just because uh, I was in a hurry to get here and do the Living Legend mission. We have 33,000 rubles, which is pretty cool. Um, means we can finally get a Psy Helm. Hmm. I'm actually considering if I want the shotgun or if I should just go in there with my uh, MP5 because it seems to do wonders um, against mutants in close range. The only problem I have it's, uh, is um, it's, it's annoying when the ammo runs out and you have to reload uh, just like any other weapon <laughs> actually. Still our guys to wait, because um, I don't want them crowding me in here. Unfortunately, that's very damaged. Alright. Keep on coming. It's, it's so fun having a personal guard. There is another thing I would like to try, um, which is uh, I'd still like to try and make that uh, measurement device mission work, and I'm gonna try to sort out which uh, which of the devices I actually need. I will do that by placing them one on one by one in uh, a stash, in a stash. All right. We have a package for this guy. We got some vodka out of it. And uh, the cattails for this one. And uh, also dangerous mutants, which were uh, the dogs down there. Okay, let's uh, keep our guys behind. This is the guy we're supposed to eliminate, which won't happen, unfortunately. And finally, we do have some bandit patches. All right, we actually got quite a considerable, considerable sum of money, and uh, should be able to buy both the tie helmet and. Mm, we're a bit low on meds, but I will buy meds from. Um, I will buy meds from. Uh, Professor Sakharov, he sells them very, very cheap compared to the others. Right. Um, what did I want to do here? I definitely wanted to buy two of these. Other than that... Um, hmm. I could buy some FMJ ammo. And I will. Other than that, I don't think we need anything, do we? Not really. We could sell some random crap like uh, these and that and all of these since we're not gonna be making our own meds anytime soon. And I'll sell the beer as well. Mm, yeah, I think that should be good. Do we need anything? I wouldn't mind the sight for our AK. Oh, never mind. Way too expensive. But, not that much, but I will take a little bit of uh, 9x19 HP. A bit more. There we go. I think this should be good. Money. 
Clear sky guys can follow me. And we have one more mission to finish here. Which is another eliminate the dangerous mutants. Which we had from before. From the garbage. After this. I'm going to head back down to garbage. And cross into wild territory from there and then um, I'd like to go to uh, Yantar oh he was here right job is done my ecologist friend and we got a stash in the garbage which uh, not not really my favorite thing right we forgot to put this in here right the other thing is I'm gonna try and uh, isolate the detector that is part of the mission. Alright, the bunker. Safe at last. Have anything in here? We do have a Colobok. Hmm. Interesting. I'll um, drop these back here just to... What? Open them up and then drop them in. Right, Professor. Здравствуйте, молодой человек. Um, Professor, I. Oh, the job is done. We got the tracking device. <laughs> professor, I need a psi protection helmet. My task requires me to move through the brain scorcher and the brain labs areas and without it i won't be able to complete it um what's the brain labs areas i think it's probably the uh, miracle machine i assume you understand the risk of going through these psychically volatile areas do you all right i believe you do you wouldn't ask me about it otherwise well there is this psi protective helmet we've been working on carefully the past few weeks on paper, everything should work and it has been properly calibrated for the Miracle Machine and the Brain Scorcher Psy emissions. However, no one has been crazy enough to field test it. Well, there was this one assistant that tried an early, uncalibrated model, but that's a story for another time. We could grant you this Psy helmet immediately as it is for the modest sum of 30,000 rubles. That device has be had better be working or I will come eat you alive when I once I am zombified, Professor. I swear. Indeed, it should be working. By wearing the light, this light device, you'll be able to wander around the Miracle Machine and the Brain Scorcher without suffering the risk of mental degradation from any of their uh, respective Psy emission. However, I am not sure it is able to help you get past the psi barrier of both the Brain Scorcher and the Miracle Machine combined, which operates past the Red Forest. Keep in mind that from our latest measures, the device will not protect you from other psi waves, like the ones emitted by phantoms, which can be encountered near the Miracle Machine, from what my assistants reported. Their frequencies are way too diverse to be countered by such device. Artifacts are the only way, it seems or unhealthy amounts of mind-numbing drugs. Maybe freedomers can help you with the latter. <laughs> Alright, here's the money, Professor. About the drugs and the artifacts, I'll keep in mind. Thanks a lot. Right, so we got our Psy helmet, which is pretty amazing. And we also have a few artifacts we can sell. Uh, these are for a mission, so we'll not sell those. Uh, what do you have here? That, that doesn't look bad, actually, but it's expensive as all hell. Right, do you have anything else we might need? Hmm, meds. I will need a lot of meds, and I... I, I expensive. Um, do I just take a couple of scientific medkits? Gonna take another fentanyl, gonna take one of these. <clears throat> right, what do we need for the Miracle Machine? 
we will definitely need psi block. We have it. We will need. Um, we have morphine. I'm gonna sell this. And this. I'll just sell the drugs I don't really need. Right? We have a Hercules to clear the effects of the uh, psi block. So that's good. Anything else we will probably need. Yeah, I'm gonna need at least one of these. It's it's better to have it and not use it than to not have it. Um and I think that should be enough. Other than that, I would very much like some grenades, but uh yeah. Right, anything else? No, but we will check for some missions around here. Um, oh, this is the Agroprom Underground secondary mission, which we won't do just yet. Uh, I'm afraid to go in there with the gear I have on right now. Um, anomalous scans. Hmm... Right. Uh, in meadows. I don't want to go to meadow. <laughs> right, controller brain tissue. We don't have any of these. I'm not going to give my... Oh, board chop. We can do that. I'm not going to give my basic tools to this particular mechanic. And anomalous study in Zaton is way too far. Also, it seems like... It's one of our guys that wants to... Um, that gave me a mission? Yeah. Right. And we have a stash. Right there. Okay, so first things first, let's take our guys to the entrance to Yantar. To the uh, Miracle Machine. And then... Uh, I think I'll head back home, give the basic tools to Hog, and, uh, oh, there's a yellow stash here, cool. And get ready to do the Miracle Machine. Yeah. Your Sky guys, please follow us. Me, not us. I should not refer to myself in third person. I have not reached that level yet. Oh, the rads. <laughs> oh yeah, I should probably get some more um, rad resist drugs. Until then, <laughs> we'll just have some cigarettes. I kind of wanted to avoid coming here in the dark. Hopefully there will be no creep creepy crawlies that uh, jump us. Oh, bolter guys. Got him. Sucker. Oh, my guys got him. That's good. All right, about the job. Here we are. And all we're left is with is um, our friend Rusik Pirate. Almost walked into that plant. Right, so. From here, I'll take a nap. Um, 
right here in Yantar, and then I will head over to that city. And we can start preparing for our little uh, trip into the Miracle Machine. Okay, so we managed to find our way back home. And I will turn in the I'm basic tools to hog. Oh boy, I was waiting for this. Now we can actually grab the advanced tools and turn them into hog. And uh, hopefully we'll have enough crust by the end to... Um, to actually hire a merc. Okay, we can actually drop some ammo off. Oh, they're fighting something out there. Oh, pseudo giant? Chimera? Okay, let's let's uh, run out a bit and see what they were uh, fighting over there. If I can find it. Oh, there it is. Yes, it was a Chimera. And interestingly enough, it didn't kill anyone. Hmm. Good for you, Mercs. Good for you. Go home, take it. Uh, yes. <laughs> First of all. What's up, bro? Um, is there any work you want done? And advanced tools have been given, and we're back to 30,000 rubles, which is amazing. So I'm gonna sell a few things. Uh, actually, not a few things, just one thing. And uh, I will need to get a uh, rifle repair kit, which we don't have. That sucks. Does this need repaired? Not really. Well, yeah, that's kind of annoying. And the guy will only refresh his stock after a day or two. But until then, we can check on our stash. See what we can drop off. Um, honestly, I should still keep at least one of these and sell the other. Okay, not gonna need so many weapon repair stuff. Gonna keep the armor repair stuff. Um, and I'm gonna... Actually, let's move all of these to the chest that's on our right. Because that's why I got it. Yeah. Anything else I want to drop off? No, I think that's it. Alright, and we can actually... I don't know who wants free boar chops, but uh, there it is. Let's see... Oh, some guy in uh, in uh, freedom. Okay, spring cleaning, on mission, run around that city, kill mutants. Uh, no, no, no. Wait, what artifact was that? Crystal. Mm. Chimera hide. There's no way I'm uh, turning that in. Right, Chimera Claw, we can do that. And it's gonna probably give us a pretty penny. Bloodsucker Heart, yes, please. We're gonna get rich off of these. Duty Faction Patches, sure. And that's about it for now. Well, um, fill it. 
What do you want? You you want to join me? Nah, of course he doesn't. My dude. Is that the... You see Ivan when hold weapon like this? Uh, thing? Oh, someone's fighting over there and I should probably go rescue them. Because uh, it's, it's a guy I have to turn a mission into. And I'd prefer if he didn't die, but I'm not sure what he's fighting. Sounds like dogs. Oh, no, it's probably a bloodsucker. Side sucker, sorry. Get dead, fucker. Alright, where's our guy? Oh, the rat's here. Okay, let's let's run out. Ah, uh, stamina will start running out if we don't. And uh, I'll just move something. Oh boy, that that was not very good. I'll have to <sighs> make a pass by the medic to. Uh, ourselves after I clear up the rats. Well, spill it. Okay, rads are cleared. Grab some medical assistance. Would you please let me pass? Thank you. Так, собрались. Oh god, these guys are jumpy. Okay, so let's see. Right near the House of Culture, usually a place where mutants tend to bug. Sounds like dogs. God, he's gonna run in the house and uh, kill the dog in there. And I won't be able to come in because uh, there is a lot of pie damage in there. Well, our, our guy solved it. At least. Okay, moving on. Oh, got some almost beads from somewhere. Okay, what's that? Zombies. Well, that's why we that's what we carry a sidearm for. Damn, the, the rats are really crazy around here. Hmm. Okay, what's over there? I'm gonna guess dogs. But it could be something bigger and meaner. Ah, uh, just dogs. Should keep our eyes peeled though, because this is also Chimera and Controller territory, so... Got 
Got him. Okay, what's next? Oh, we're done. And there's a yellow stash that spawned over there. Uh, I'm guessing from one of the missions. It's probably in the apartment building, so let's go check that out real fast. Then we'll turn in this mission. And I think we will end episode right after that. Because we actually achieved quite a few things and uh, I would like to leave the next episode for the Miracle Machine. And I definitely want to do the Miracle Machine uh, very soon. Because we do have the uh, gear for it, honestly. We should be able to deal with it easily. Now, where is this patch? I'll take some anti-rads because uh, I don't want to get fried again. Definitely not inside. I'm gonna guess it's in the attic. Or it's inside. Okay, let's uh, check inside. Let's see could also be above the uh, on the rooftop oh god you scared me oh i didn't expect him to be in the house there we go okay this is nice right um oh pause don't care car don't really care Another Taz shotgun. Uh, nah. I thought it would be a little bit better, better, at least. But oh well. Got some slime. Yeah, some right. Let's make our way back. We also got another Psy Sucker Hand, and uh, we have another one in the stash, and I do remember there was a mission for two Psy Sucker Hands. But I don't remember where we need to turn it in, so uh, let's uh, grab the other one and see. Loner. Loner where? <laughs> well, I, I guess we can make our way all the, all our way there at some point. Okay, job is done. We got a little bit more money. But yeah, that will be it for now. So let's do a little recap. Um, We started up in uh, Rookie Village. We made our way through Garbage and all the way to Rostock. Finished a lot of missions on the way. Then we went back to Garbage and into, um, not Agroprom, Yantar, where we bought, finally, we bought our Psy Helmet. And then we made our way back home into Dead City, where we finished a few more missions. Um, and uh, yeah, also got a lot of yellow stashes uh, revealed. So we will need to do a stash run at some point. But the plan for the next episode is to do the Miracle Machine, 
which we should be able to do at this point. We just need a little bit more ammo. So the plan is to go through army warehouses, maybe clear the stashes around there, turn some more missions in. Then down to Rostock, uh, we have a couple missions there as well. I would like to go through uh, Wild Territory as well and get all the stashes I can from there. Uh, and then, of course, uh, you know what? I, I'm not going to go through garbage. I'll go straight to Yantar and do the Miracle Machine. Honestly, I could fix up a shotgun, I think. I, I think we have enough material uh, to fix up this uh, this Mossberg. We need a trigger. Uh, we don't have a trigger. Interesting. Could we get a trigger? Right, so I was wrong. We can't fix the Mossberg. But uh, honestly, I don't think we need it. I think the MP5 will be enough for the Brain Scorcher. Um, the idea is uh, we will not kill the Pseudo Giant. We could with grenades. I, I wouldn't risk doing it with an MP5. I'm not skilled enough to jump over um, to jump over the um, what do you call them? The smashes. So I will probably just um, try to evade it as much as possible. Usually I only kill it if I have enough grenades to deal with it. But uh, yeah, that will be it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know it wasn't as uh, exciting as uh, others, but uh, we did have some cute moments and it is a setup for running the Miracle Machine. And after that, there will be a lot of episodes where we try and get some heavy armor so we can start doing the Brain Scorcher. Because I will not go into the Brain Scorcher without at least an exosuit. So I'm not sure if I'll put those episodes up. Maybe I'll make a kind of a montage of uh, moments and fights and stashes. But I will farm a lot of stashes trying to get those um, those uh, heavy armors. And maybe some better weapons, because I don't really like this AK. It's not a bad weapon, but I would prefer something a little bit more, I'm um, going to say, reliable and accurate. And probably NATO, because I am set up in the Merc base, but I don't have NATO weapons, so I can't buy ammo, which is really, really annoying. But yeah, that was it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe. And as always, I'll see you all next time.